Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my meditation routines and how you can learn to meditate too. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Miguel. Today, I wanna to talk about how I started meditating, why I started and how it's benefited me as a person and how I think it can benefit you too. If you are new here, please do hit that subscribe button and drop a comment below what kind of meditation you've tried and any struggles you faced. And if you stick to the end, I'm gonna be doing a small guided meditation that you can follow along with. So it was around mid 2016 after the opening of both my stores and I was in a dark, dark place mentally. I ended up booking a detox retreat in Thailand as I felt like my life needed to take a new direction completely. And at that point, I was really just ready to try anything. The retreat center was on an island called Koh Phangan and it offered all different types of things like yoga, meditation, breath work, and other interesting workshops and sharing circles where I really got introduced to a more transparent way of being, really letting the ego drift away and allowing myself to explore my inner workings on a spiritual level. Since that retreat, I would say I've explored a lot over the years by reading books, doing more yoga, breath work and meditation workshops and experimenting with psychedelics. But it wasn't until around 2019, I'd say I started to meditate more often. And from January 1st, 2020, I made a vow to try and meditate every day. And although I didn't make it every day, it still had a profound impact on my mental health and most importantly, my way of thinking. I'm not completely changed, I'm still human, but I found that I react a lot less aggressively to certain situations and just shrug off other bad news. And I've learned to stop taking things quite so personally too. So one of the first things you hear when you tell someone about meditation is, I can't concentrate, I can never do that. My mind cannot stop thinking. And I think that is one of the biggest misconceptions about meditation is that it has to be a certain way and there are specific rules to how much time you can do in silence without thinking. Meditation for me is all about just being in the present and allowing yourself to be mindful and find stillness in that moment. Not having to worry about anything else other than the task at hand, which is the meditation part. And no matter what, it's really difficult at first. It's not easy and it takes practice. But if you put in the time, you can really see a profound change in yourself. So join me on my meditation cushion as we talk about the different ways that you can practice meditation. So this is just a quick side note. I'm using a meditation cushion. I just find it quite comfortable at the minute. It's just something I'm using. So stick that under sit on it and you sit with your knees kind of forward and legs back. You can also do this with a meditation stool and some people find it a little bit more comfortable because it keeps your back up and straight. You always want your spine to be kind of straight so if you're sitting in a cross legged position you tend to slouch or you have a bad back one of these options might be better and then the other option is a chair so you can sit in this and it'll keep you really straight but your, your neck won't be relying on it for steadiness so uh, all three of these are really good um, you want to be comfortable when you're meditating because you don't want to be sitting there thinking about you know pains in your body and stuff I mean it's a good test to know if you actually are meditating and you let them thoughts come and go but optimal comfort is always best so I've gone through different meditation techniques and it changes depending on how I'm feeling, how much time I have, and just generally what I feel like my body needs. To set the mood, I either light a candle or incense or both and splash some Florida water on myself. Uh, this is just to start out. And then I do a little bit of light breath work to stabilize my breath and that gets me into the flow. For anyone looking into meditation, I would probably recommend to start out with some simple guided meditations. This can really help set the groundwork on the path to being able to meditate yourself. You can find multiple free meditations on YouTube, on apps like Headspace or Inside Timer, which is my personal favorite, and it even offers some courses that you can follow too. Uh, for me, specific guided meditations can really help during short stints of anxiety or to help me drift off to sleep, but I'm very particular about the voice I listen to. This may not be the case for you. The next way I meditate the most is to usually find a good song on YouTube or Inside Timer based on the spare time that I have. This is usually around 10 minutes, which I find to be my sweet spot and I follow the same process. My biggest advice is to listen to music quite low and focus on your breath. 
If the thoughts come to you, what I like to do is visualize me acknowledging them and then letting them float away. And try not to force your mind to go blank as this is impossible and it will only irritate you. Once you feel comfortable, you should then move on to meditations in silence. And this is where you really become aware of your thoughts and all the noises around you. I still use Inside Timer, the app, to time my meditations, and then you can also modify the warm-up time that it gives you, so I do my breath work around then. It'll then notify you the sound, when to start me on meditation. Uh, if you live somewhere noisy, you could try it with noise cancellation headphones, or some earplugs and this will allow for fewer interruptions. Remember that when meditating it's normal to feel frustrated and there will be some days you find it easier than others, but it truly takes consistency and practice to become better at it, just like anything. For me, opening my eyes after a good meditation is one of the most profound feelings. I open my eyes and I feel like I've come back from another world. I feel like all the worries in the world have fizzled away and it's just peaceful. If you would like to join me for a two minute guided meditation, find yourself in a comfortable seated position while we take some deep breaths. All right, I'm just gonna light my incense. Just set the mood a little bit. Just gonna put that in front of me. Next, the Florida water. The one I use is uh, the Peru one, the Shaman's Cleanse. Splash a bit on. So I'm gonna go into Inside Timer and I'm gonna set my meditation for two minute 30 and I'm gonna do a 30 second warm up. For that 30 second warm up, I want us to do a count of six breaths in through the nose, six breath out through the mouth. And we'll continue that until we hear the, the second gong. We'll do the meditation and then you'll hear the final gong and then we'll come out of it. So get comfortable, back straight. So taking a breath in for six seconds, really feel your lungs filling up and your chest expanding. Slowly start to release that breath for six more seconds and repeat this until you hear the first gong. As we start this meditation, I want you to take a moment to imagine yourself feeling calm, relaxed, and just focusing on the breath. Take note of how your body feels by scanning, feeling where tension is built and calmly release and relax. As you breathe in and out, you will feel even more calm and relaxed. your mind begins to wander, this is fine. Acknowledge the thought, give it a small smile and visualize it fading away. Remember, you have nothing to do right now other than being here and now. Just focusing 
on the breath. Relax. As we come to the end and you hear that last gong, I want you to take a few seconds to open your eyes and become aware of the stillness around you. Take note of how you feel. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope this has given you some good insights on how to get started with meditation. Please let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you next week for a brand new video. And again, if you like this video, I can touch on the subject even further. Just let me know in the comments. Thank you.